As a frequent one-click shopper and free two-day shipping enthusiast, I often take for granted all the amazing advancements that it takes to bring these goods to our doors. Today's truck drivers are running more miles and hauling more freight than ever before. That's why truck manufacturer Packard is turning its sights towards AI. I'm Arjun Dutt with NVIDIA, and this is IMAI. Trucks really are the lifeblood of the U.S. economy. 70% of uh, the freight tonnage moved in the United States every year goes on trucks. So that means over 10 billion tons of freight being hauled every year. What we want to do is to make the truck driver as safe, comfortable, and productive as possible. At the Packard Technical Center in Washington State, the potential of autonomy is becoming a reality. So in order to create an autonomous vehicle, we need to be able to perceive our environment, and this requires a lot of sensors. So what we've done with this truck is we've added LiDAR, which is a laser imaging system. It gives us range detection. We've added uh, cameras. We have a camera in the grill. We have a radar unit in the bumper. We have additional cameras in the mirror on the A-pillars, and we also have cameras in the side mirrors. All of that information from those cameras, the radar, the LiDAR, all feed into the Drive PX2, where we can do image processing, and then we can take all of that fused image data and run it through a neural network and decide on what it is that we're seeing. So I'm just gonna start driving the truck manually here, get a little bit of speed up, and then I'm gonna engage the autonomous system with the switch. We're fully in autonomous mode right now. Seeing 40 tons of AI trucking down the road is an incredible sight. But I found myself wondering, is the truck truly driving itself or just following a pre-programmed path? The truck is building a picture of the environment from the sensors. So a combination of the cameras, radar, and LiDAR is building a map of the environment immediately surrounding the truck. And then based on its position within that environment, it makes decisions on where it's going to drive. One of the most important pieces of this equipment we've had to add to this truck to make it fully autonomous is the Drive PX2, which is providing the compute power that we need to process all of this data. One of the amazing things about this project was we were able to take neural networks that have been trained by NVIDIA in a completely different environment and apply them directly in our vehicles. What Chris is talking about is called transfer learning. A neural network that's capable of driving anywhere needs to be trained on all types of roads and conditions. But currently, there's not enough data being collected with trucks. Instead, passenger cars can be used to collect a much wider variety of data, more efficiently. We can use this data to build a neural network, giving the vehicle an awareness of the world around it. However, there are some major differences between driving a car and a large truck. Things like trailer articulation. Packard addresses this by using transfer learning, adding some software layers that adapt the path planning for the truck, including proper trailer tracking. The NVIDIA Drive platform lets the neural network interpret the incoming data in real time and send the proper commands to braking, steering, and throttle to control the vehicle safely. So that idea of being able to transfer that learning into our environment has a lot of power and it really can save a lot of time. What we have here is a demo of the level four system, which is a high automation, highly automated system. We are working now to improve that system to handle more challenging conditions, such as poorly marked roads or difficult weather. With this head start, Packard is well on its way to creating trucks that can drive autonomously on public roads. Does this mean that there isn't a future for truck drivers? There's a lot of concerns out there about what autonomy will do to the trucking profession. and. What we're looking to do is absolutely not to replace the driver, but to make a tough job easier. As far as autonomous driving goes, not having to focus for 10 to 14 hours a day, driving a long haul or to 500 miles, it'd be a good benefit for both the industry itself, safety-wise, and, and the driver. We just look at the aviation industry. We've had autopilots for a very long time, and we still got two pilots in the cockpit. I think it's gonna be a similar story with trucking.